Now to Decision 2018 and the biggest turnouts for early voting we have seen in years. More voters means longer lines and longer wait times. So tonight we're taking a look at the voting locations that might have the shortest wait times through the end of this early voting period. Channel 2 Sion Rhodes reporting live from one of those locations in southeast Houston. Sion. And Dominique, the Harris County Clerk's Office says they don't track wait times at polling locations, but they do, of course, track the number of people who show up at each polling place. And they say knowing those numbers could help save you time in line. After a record-breaking first week of early voting, voters are heading to the polls unsure what to expect when they get there. I was definitely worried about long lines. But the long lines aren't the norm everywhere. There was no wait. It was super fast. By reviewing the daily record of early voting from Monday through Friday of last week, we found that 10 of Harris County's 46 early voting locations had about 1,000 or fewer people show up each day. Galena Park Library, Big Stone Lodge, Cashmere Multi-Service Center, Hardy Senior Center, Ripley House Neighborhood Center, Lone Star College Victory Center, Crosby Library, Hiram Clark Multi-Service Center, Young Library, and Fallbrook Church. But do lower turnout numbers really indicate shorter wait times? It's pretty much just in and out. That appeared to be the case at the Young Neighborhood Library in Southeast Houston, which came in at number nine on our list. I only had to wait for like five seconds and then... Five seconds? Yeah. <laughs> I was in there a total of 12 minutes before I cast my ballot and it's out of there. Could have been out of there two minutes after that, but me and my big mouth talking to everybody because I love people and I enjoy talking to them. So you guys don't forget to calculate your chatting time in your early voting location time as well. So the polls are open this week until 7 o'clock at night. And of course, early voting ends this Friday. Reporting live, Sion Rhodes, KPRC Channel 2 News.